he was actually a nice guy um also i thought so me being me i was like i don't know what i think of online dating that was my experience hey guys welcome welcome back to my channel my name is amanda if you are new here and today i am doing a chit chat get ready with me i am getting ready to film another youtube video and i thought why not just get ready with you and camera i am giving you this look and also we'll be answering questions or talking about the topics that you guys sent me on instagram and if you are interested in seeing how i achieve this look and also find out what i'm talking about on the video please keep on watching and also subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed and press notification bell so that you do not miss any of my future uploads and now let's just jump straight to the video i'm gonna start by priming my eyes this concealer is such a waste of money it's not thick it's runny i thought it was thick since it says it's a full coverage concealer but it is not so i'm gonna go in with my revlon which is full coverage and also so i asked you guys on instagram to send in questions or topic that you wanted me to talk about on this video and i think i'm just gonna start with that okay but let me just blend this and then we'll then i'll get into the questions or the topics goals for the new year okay i don't really set goals i used to set goals a lot in the past I will in the beginning of the year i would say what i wanted and you know and also set specific timeline of when i was going like set specific time when i wanted to achieve that goal or those goals um i think the past two years have taught me that things can just take a turn um that i, I not always in control or i can't control what happens so i don't really have goals i do have goals in my mind but i don't want to say them out loud if that makes any sense um but i think the goal that i do have um yes that i do have and that i want to talk about is to actually change my mindset i want to change the way that i think of myself about myself about life in general i have never been a positive person when something happens i always think of the worst like i can want something and then immediately i will think of how it can go wrong um let's say maybe i want to let's say maybe i'm posting a picture like starting like an instagram account then i'll think like but who's gonna follow me who's gonna want to see me why am i thinking of uh starting an instagram page why do i want to be a content creator things like that like uh, so many thoughts go into my mind so i want to change that and not overthink things and or maybe not always be negative i want to be positive to be more po it's gonna be hard it's really gonna be hard because i'm not that person i can okay i'm not always negative but most of the time i am negative i think i sabotage myself with just being negative and always dwelling on the past i would always like if maybe i want to do something and then maybe i've tried to do it in the past before and i'll be like oh, i can't do this again because i fell in the past uh what's gonna be different now why do i think um you know it's gonna have like a, a good outcome this time so that is what i want to change and the next question is how to stay consistent with content creation have a schedule this is what i do i will think of the content that i want to put up okay i'll be like i look at my at the, at the at the calendar and then i'll be like okay fine on these days this is what i want to put up and then from there on i i just work backwards i will say okay fine on the 6th of um 
of Jen, I want to put up a get ready with me. And then uh, on the 10th, I want to do, I want to put on a vlog, put out a vlog. And then I will then look, okay, fine. If I want these videos to go up this time, when can I film them and when can I edit them? How many days do I need to uh, edit and have the videos ready? I'm putting up a, a date of when I want them to be up. I've given myself like a dead line. I write everything down. I plan a month ahead. I set up a day where I'm going to film all my looks that I want and then from there like I'll write okay fine. If I want to put out like 10 fashion content in one month, when can I create this content? And then I'll choose two days out of a week or out of like two weeks and then i'll choose like two day, two days maybe i think in a day i do like a minimum of three outfits so then i'll choose a day where i can choose like three outfits and four outfits and then editing for instagram i edit as i go out edit on the day that i want to post which is something that i want to change this year and it is very challenging when you have a full-time job but trust me it can be done i'm saying that because i've been there you will be tired even when you don't have a full-time job this thing is very tiring and very demanding um but it can be it can be done you just have to make sacrifices and yeah you just have to compromise on some things i'm not a person who goes out so i'm a homebody um so for me creating content on my spare time is not really a problem i will create my content on the weekends on the days where i'm not working that is when i'm creating content i knew content i knew that saturday and sunday are my days of creating content and then i will uh, i would edit during the week um after work i would edit sometimes during my lunch time as well i would edit if there was like if it was possible if it was not possible it's fine i will edit later sometimes i will edit at night when only goes to bed maybe around nine that is when i would then edit and i used to sleep like really really late i used to sleep like a 12 or 1 editing because i mean there was no other there was no other way really for for me to do it it had to be and then for pictures the great thing about summer is that the sun sets really late so you can take pictures after work um so i would choose a day again where i can go maybe take like two or three um pictures after work um yeah just have a schedule guys like have a schedule plan for your content and also commit 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 that commitment will take you far be disciplined and also commit if you've set a schedule if you've set timelines st stick to them stick to them and then that's how you will be consistent so i hope that answers your question like how to be consistent on social media the lessons you learned from 2021 okay 2021 wasn't a good year for me and i think most of you know that i don't know i think i think it was just kind of obvious that 2021 was not my year it was like a shitty year for me like that what i learned i learned that life can be cruel that's what i learned that life can be so 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 cruel right and that not everyone that loves with you has good intentions for you um people are so evil people are so mean people will smile and laugh with you Ganti, they're laughing at you and they can take your situation to their advantage if you are down there are people who want to see you down that's actually the truth that there are people who just want to there are people who don't want to see you win and they'll pretend that they want to see you win and that they don't so we are living with snakes and um it's not like one what i learned it's like something that i knew 
but i learned the hard way last year you know i learned the hard way that people can really be cruel life can really be cruel and yeah just not to trust i learned not to trust people um i used to not trust people but i think last year i was like i had no reason not to trust i think i had no reason to trust and not to trust but i just wanted to give people the benefits of the doubts and then um they ended up letting me down and just being who i always thought they were you know it's like i knew they were not good people but i did it like i i thought they were not good people but they hadn't i did, had no reason to think that and they're gonna prove me right to see yeah they're not good people so that's what i learned i also learned that not everything happens for a reason guys i'm still trying to find a reason for the bad things that happen in my life and i don't see them they say that some experiences teach you a lesson or you get something from them or you you know some sort of wisdom i don't think that's true and that's me if you feel any other way it's fine but this is just me this is how i how i feel i don't think that everything happens for a reason if i tell you half of the things that happened to me you would be so shocked how i'm still here how i'm still standing last year made me so bitter i was so so bitter last year i was so angry i was so angry at everything and at everyone because it didn't make sense it really really didn't make sense i don't want to think too much about the past but I just don't get why those things happened i there is no reason i didn't learn anything didn't make me any wiser or like you know i took something from it that i can use in the future what am i gonna take the anger the bitterness that i had what am i gonna do with that it's just gonna make me more angry it's just gonna send me back so like the whole lie like that line is a lie to answer you the lessons i lessons i learned not not everything happens for a reason or for a good reason some things are just happening to hurt you i've already primed my face and these are the two primers i used since i've already primed my face i'm just gonna jump straight into foundation and the foundations i'm gonna be using today are these two the maybelline super stay active foundation and this catrice true skin foundation i've never mixed them this is a bit orange for me and this is too cool for me it just oxidizes and become gray so i just want to mix them and see what they're going to give me what am i most excited about for the new year most of these questions have you know it's all about new year new year and stuff which i understand because it's the beginning of the year um i'm most excited about starting over i feel like i'm starting over i'm excited that the year 2021 is over i wanted that year to be over i just i gave up especially towards the end i was just like i'm gonna wait for the new year this is a lot of foundation <laughs> there are things that i want to try to do this year that i was supposed to do last year but because things were going so wrong for me last year i was just so scared to even try because honestly it felt like everything i was trying to do was just becoming an epic fail so this year i don't have to think about that and i'm not scared of failing uh, i'm not saying i'm not gonna fail but i'm just saying that i'm not scared of failing like i was last year i think i was so so scared of failing so this year i am just looking forward to learning new things and trying new things and not being afraid um to fail and just from there i will just learn you know i think mm. I think later on in the year um, i'm gonna try tiktok i'm gonna work on it so i'm gonna learn tiktok this year i don't think it's as difficult as i think it is so um i'm looking forward to just not only enjoying tiktok but also learning tiktok because i enjoy tiktok i enjoy tiktok more than instagram um i'm not sure and it's just gonna be something that i do for fun not for work and then 
my other question because i did show on instagram that i wanted to cut my hair um why do i want to cut my hair um the reason why i want to cut my hair is because <sighs> there's no reason other than that i'm i'm lazy i really really think that i'm lazy um it's so time consuming for me not time consuming it's just like maintaining a, like natural hair as it's growing i think it's becoming more difficult for me um i don't know how to style it uh, i'm learning but i just i am not a patient person okay i am not a patient person and because of that <laughs> I just get frustrated when I don't get things right like this is not going the way that I want it to go or oh, what and I also feel like I look much better with a medium vision short hair is uh, for me okay I like it's just simple straightforward and it looks good on the girl that's the reason why I want to cut my hair and she also asked will I ever relax my hair no I hate a relaxer so i made a mistake of relaxing my hair in 2018 and that was a mistake honestly speaking it was a mistake okay i only liked it for like a week and then after that i wanted to cry i wanted my afro back i don't have anything against relaxers it's just that it doesn't work for me and i get a millionaire relaxer that's just me um i'd rather have an afro than having really relaxy another topic was online dating <laughs> my, when my relationship ended uh in 2019 i joined tinder i was like hmm, let me see what this is about okay let's see what the fuss is about you know let me just test this out i had no intentions of getting into a relationship but i I just wanted to forget about my old relationship if that makes sense so i joined tinder and um i met not physical meeting but yeah i met quite like interesting people there was this guy G, who was like oh my goodness i love you you don't even know me and you're telling me that you you love me and i didn't use my real name okay i not it was not that i use like i use my nickname uh, which is mandy um yeah i use my nickname mandy and i mean that guy didn't know anything about me and then he was telling me that he loves me like there were so many weird people on uh, that app on yeah it's just so many <sighs> psychos and waiters and yeah and then i did connect with one guy and we just took it off um um we took it off tinder and we went on whatsapp and i liked him uh i like i liked our conversations and um yeah just he looked matured from what i saw in the pictures um he looked matured and he looked nice and just from the pictures you know when you see like he was all businessy and um i don't know i was just you know taken by that and i liked it and hmm hmm you know and uh yeah and then we decided to take it off um tinder and just we exchanged numbers and we were chatting and then from chatting to calling each other like we will talk until 3 a.m we'll talk until one you know we will talk until late you know forgetting that we had uh to wake up early the next day um we had to work and all of that we spoke for a couple of months eh? and we got along but there was no meeting no we never set up time to but there was never like a let's meet up type of thing uh we just kind of we will talk and 
i liked our conversations honestly speaking i loved our conversations i wasn't really looking for a relationship like i said so it was so easy for me to you know to talk to him and he just made me forget about things you know about life and um i wasn't going through like a lot but it just made me forget about my toxic relationship and made me forget about things and i just like the fact that we would, we would talk about everything and anything you know we'll talk about relationships we'll talk about uh life in general we'll talk, he had two kids and um we'll talk about kids we'll talk about exes you know we'll just talk about sex we used to talk about, talk about everything but meeting up no no we never spoke of meeting up um i was never gonna bring that up or initiate a meeting if he wanted to meet me he was gonna meet me so i'm assuming he never wanted to meet me well he did call me once as a mall of africa and he was like oh by the way i'm at mall of africa okay come meet me hi bo Kashi. Kashi. come meet you were you there for me i mean if you say that like oh by the way i'm here only ah ah nana papa okay bye bye again oh who's by the way who are you meeting by the way i think he said he was there to i don't know who he was meeting there and then he thought i will be there or something like that i don't know i forgot my powder so me being me i was like uh you're not here to see me so no i'm not gonna come meet you if you want to meet me you will set like a proper you know come let's meet set a date and all of that so yeah i never met him and then what used to annoy me about him um i'm zulu right and he used to have these boring jokes he was closer he used to have these boring jokes about zulu people people like saying that i see a whole lot of the that's on twitter and i don't like it and i don't want to receive it personally okay so he would like zulu men are this zulu men are that zulu people are this so people don't know and like, it got annoying and then beginning of the year 2020 he said something and i said it's not funny i said i don't find it funny he was like oh, okay sorry and trust me that was the last time we spoke because i think before i would just like ignore it or like haha but not really entertain it but last like i i told him it's not funny i don't think it's funny i don't even remember what it was but it was just like it was a bad joke about my people i mean i can say things about tosser people to trust me i can but i decided not to like you know i'm not a tribalist you know i don't want to look down on any tribe okay if i have something to say about a tribe i wouldn't go to the people and if i want to know about the tribe i'll ask the people you know so yeah that's was the last time we spoke i met another guy he sent me a dm i thought it was a girl i liked his pictures he was a photographer well, he's a photographer and then i liked his pictures but he came up on my explore he has a unisex name and i thought okay this is a girl um and then i liked the pictures and then from there he dm'd me and then you know something funny and uh we spoke and this was in 2019 as well we spoke uh and then well we'll just chat and then he asked for my number then he asked for my number that day but i was like i don't know you i'm not gonna give you my number and i didn't give him my number and then but he kept asking and i ended up giving him my number and then he called me immediately and he asked for a date i was like okay i was not expecting that was like okay let's just meet up for coffee he asked for a coffee date like, can you please go on a coffee date uh choose a place i was like hmm i don't know then my friends are like you have nothing to lose just go i mean you single just go and meet him but like someone from instagram i can't just go meet a stranger from instagram 
but I ended up going. <laughs> Um, I chose my green bean. I was like, no, my green bean. Let's not go to my green bean. Everybody goes to my green bean for coffee. Um, but I wanted some place closer. Okay. I didn't want to, where I could just drive myself and, you know, I want some somewhere safe. I'm not safer, but somewhere closer. And then he said, let's go to Starbucks and then I'll come pick you up. Hmm okay i think that was like my first date after my relationship i was like oh okay he's gonna come pick me up a guy that i don't know um a guy that i've uh, i've never met you know and or ever seen and then he told me that his pictures are on his instagram page and then i scrolled down and i saw him I was like oh okay and he came then i gave him my address please okay do not try this at home Okay, I'm not saying give your people your address and stuff. Um, I was living in a complex, gated place, very safe. So I met him outside the gate. Okay, I gave him my address. I told him where I was staying. He came, he picked me up, went, we had our dates. And I had a good time. He was actually a nice guy. Um, also, I thought. We had a we had a nice time. Honestly, we had a nice time and we met for a couple of days. After that, he wanted a relationship, that's what he said, but I was not there. I wasn't interested. Actually had common friends. I would say not even common friends, but he knew people that were my friends like way way back then when I was still in school, which is wow, okay, like it's a small world even though we didn't know each other, but we just sort of like knew the same people and um he was also a photographer to the people that i went to school with i really was not looking for a relationship or just to even be like date like that i don't know i was not looking to be with anyone um at that time but i was still talking to him and besides i didn't believe that he was also looking for a relationship um I don't think he was. He was just saying that because, you know, guys are never really, they're not forthcoming or they don't really say their true intentions. They would lie and lie and lie to you. I don't know why. I mean, if you just want sex, you must just say that you just want sex. I mean, or you just want a hookup or whatever it is that you want. Just say that, hey, I just want a hookup. I don't want anything serious or whatever. But then I, I wasn't there and I didn't believe or think that that's what he wanted to. Then he gave me his address. He asked me to visit him. I went to visit him. Uh, I mean, I had met him for a couple of, you know, dates. I had met him. Sometimes he would even like come and bring me coffee or something after the gym because uh, he used to uh the gym that he was going to was so, was so close to where I, I used to stay so then he would just come give me coffee or something come say hi and all of that so then he's like come visit me i went i visited him had a good time and we made out for me i'm just oh i'm just leaving didn't think anything of it we just made out and like we really had a nice time then after that we watched a movie we what did we order i think we went out to buy something to eat and then he took me home and then from then he was like you know i really like you and i'm serious about you blah, blah, blah. like okay brother i am not Ooh, what did i just do on my forehead and i didn't want a relationship and besides that he was not consistent i didn't think that he was serious because he was not consistent he was so so busy and um which i understood like there was nothing wrong with him being busy but in his efforts he was not consistent you know just tiny effort this was the effort and i was like okay um with i just want consistent people okay i want people who know what they want but i wasn't looking for a relationship so it didn't bother me that much and then that was the end of 20, 20, 2019. That was the end of 2019. Then comes 2020. And then like, and then he went home for the holidays and we would still talk and you know, he'll go overseas and we'll still talk, you know, um, because I, he, like I said, he was, he was like an okay guy. He was a nice guy. We were, like, he was funny, enjoyed his company 
and then um now it's 2020 he wants to see me i'm alone uh my son was with his father i was like okay no it's fine if you want to see me you can come see me i'm home by myself him because he wanted me to help him with editing videos because he also used to shoot videos for brands and have to edit so but he wasn't that good with editing videos and then he asked he, he asked for my help and then i would help him edits and all of that so that's that's how he came to then i remember that's how he came to my apartment and we'll spend time we'll go out we we'll eat you know just have a good time <sighs> this one time brother decides that he wants to take things further physically and since i was not there obviously it's gonna be a problem i was like this is not happening it's not gonna happen not today not ever and he just became something else if you want to see the true nature of a guy say no when he wants to take things physical then you will see that the person had never really wanted anything with you from i don't believe in just jumping into bed with someone who we were dating i mean i had known him for what two months we're not going out we're not in in any form of like we're seeing how things gonna go he got angry and he left and i just i was just like disappointed i expected better uh but that's that's what i got so what i think of online dating it's i don't know what i think of online dating that was my experience it does work out for some people and there's nothing wrong with meeting people online and dating them and having and like being in a relationship with them i've seen su two successful relationships number one okay i don't know them personally but vongai met her husband online uh on tinder i think or bamboo i don't know but one of the dating apps that's where she met her husband they married now and then um Gemma lewis i don't know her full name Gemma lewis something she's a uk youtuber she just got engaged and she's pregnant and she met her guy on tinder uh i'm not saying it would always be like that i'm just gonna be like that for everyone uh but you can meet the love of your life on online and also it can be dangerous that guy could have just raped me okay and he almost did um so it's not always great to meet people online you just have to be careful what else what else what else where's my phone Ooh. how do you keep going even when it's hard who after crying and staying in bed the whole day <laughs> um i i have to pull myself back right um i feel i allow myself not all the time though but most times i allow myself to feel what i'm feeling if i'm feeling sad i allow myself to go through that period um it's something that took a while for me to do um sometimes i just i used to to to, to act strong I don't know maybe it's because things have never hit me so hard like they did last year um that i couldn't just even pretend that things were okay um and then also being a mother that what keeps me going because i have to wake up i have to make him food i have to make sure that he's okay he's well taken care of uh especially being a single mother uh, my son relies on me fully on me he's fully dependent on me um so that keeps me going knowing that i have to take care of another human being no one else is gonna take care of him but me that keeps me going and also yeah because if like no lie no like uh, if it wasn't for for him i wouldn't be here i wouldn't be here there's so many times i I thought of just ending it but because um i have him i couldn't do that i actually have never thought of ending my life the way i did last year like 
I think 80% of my thoughts last year were of me and in my life and that was just a very very dark place that I was in um, so this year I'm going to see someone because you can't you can't do things on your own I can't do things on my own um, I need help and it's time for me to admit that I actually need help and there is nothing wrong in seeking help especially professional help help has been offered before uh, professionally and I just refused um, support groups and all they've been offered by my doctor um, I refused I also watch a lot of youtubers um, I like to watch people in a not in a similar situation as me but people who have gone through depression who have gone through some mental health issues and uh sometimes i um and then see how they get out of that and also i like to watch people that have that seem because i don't want to say people have it together because you you don't know what battles people are fighting i like to look up to people that keep on going people that push and um are always you know they just they seem like they have things together okay um for me watching alia's face has helped me so so much because that girl works hard and she's just like you know from her body to her content everything i like that i like to watch people that motivate me um yeah i just like to watch people that or they know how to get up and fight and push and yeah so alia's face has has been that for me i really really enjoy um watching her vlogs watching her routines and even going back to her old videos and just see where she started to where she is now let me finish off my eyes off camera so that i can save my battery because it's flashing and also just me charging and then i'll come back and finish okay i'm back eyes all done now and um i don't know i just froze okay um now i'm gonna do my lips and i only have four minutes left on my memory card so i don't know <laughs> um i wanted to talk about my weight as well but i don't think i want to anymore because i don't know I feel like I talk about my weight a lot. So this year is just gonna be more action, less words. Oh, and also there's something that I'm gonna do differently this year. Um, I think I saw something like that. I don't think there's anything I want to do. To, actually, no, I'm lying. There is. Um, I felt like last year. Oh, actually, not even last year. Ever since I had my channel, I I don't really open up a lot. I don't talk a lot. Like I talk, I do talk. I talk too much. But when it comes to my content and my channel, I don't talk. I still feel like you guys don't know me. I don't open up a lot. So I'm gonna try and open up a lot. I'm gonna try to be. I don't know. Just to bring you in in a lot more than I I did last year. Like I just show you guys bits and bits and bits of my life which is it's fine i like it like that i'm a private person but i want to try and just show a little bit more it's not gonna hurt to show a bit more i'm looking for my brush and i can't find it Ooh, okay i'm back let me just try and zoom you out a bit and uh, this is the final look i don't know how you guys feel about it uh this is not what i'm used to i'm just not sure because this is not this is not me okay i like my looks simple but tried you know to do something different this year or for this video and i hope you guys did enjoy it i hope you enjoyed my mumbling and if the video is all about the place i do apologize i will try to do better i will try to do like um, a get to know me tag because we have grown so so much and um 
yeah just to let you guys in so that you get to know me better um i'm gonna try and do more videos and also try and just do more videos where i open up and talk about me so that you know who you're actually watching and who you're actually following and um yeah i hope you did enjoy this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up comment down below let me know what your uh what your thoughts if you have any um just let me know how your year is is going i know it's just the start please but please do let me know and um subscribe to my channel if you're not subscribed press the notification bell so that you will be notified every time i upload a video and i will catch you on my next video bye